Happy Halloween, Bells, and welcome to a spooky edition of SMC Style Watch. I'm your host and costume extraordinaire, Tori Spencer. Halloween has to be one of my favorite holidays. First of all, October is just great in general because it is the start of fall, which means it's sweater weather. And I love wearing sweaters, those big comfy ones with leggings. It's a perfect fall match. And then the seasonal Starbucks drinks appear and I'm obsessed with Starbucks and we all know about the popular and infamous pumpkin spice latte. Personally, I'm not a fan. I'm a little disappointed because I'm not, but it's that time of the year and we all know it's coming after this. Halloween is the Christmas cups, best part of the Starbucks season. And also Halloween occurs, which is a blast because you get to dress up as something other than yourselves. It gives you a total excuse to just dress up and be silly and be whoever you want to be. You know those times when you really just want to break out of your fashion shell and take a risk, but during the school year or just on normal days, you wouldn't really want to? Halloween is the perfect time for this. It doesn't always have to be as extravagant. It can be very subtle. For example, last year I went shopping and found this poncho that was so cute and I thought I could just wear it to class with leggings. It was really comfortable and I found it at Forever 21, so obviously it was pretty decently priced. And the reason I almost talked myself into getting it was because I could have used it as a Halloween costume. Therefore, if I wore it for Halloween, I had it in my closet and it gave me a reason to wear it as one of the more riskier things in fashion I would have worn last year. Alas, I didn't get it. I regret it a little bit because it was a really cute poncho and it was super comfortable. But now I'm just here in my 80s workout gear, so it's all good. I'll probably use all this for a long time to come. But like I said, Halloween is all about making excuses to dress up as whoever you want to be and be whatever you want to be come Wednesday night. Halloween this year will be like, unlike any other for me because it is my last Halloween in college and it is so sad but this means I have been given three years of experience, three years of preparation and three years of knowledge to know what to do for Halloween and I think I finally have it down. At least I hope so with this crazy stuff I have on. And I'm going to share a couple Halloween do's and don'ts for you. Um, so take with a grain of salt. I mean, pay attention if you want, but these are just some things I've learned over the past few years to make my senior Halloween year awesome. Do go over the top completely. Go insane with the makeup, the hair, the accessories, everything. Go over the top. It's your one, one chance a year to do it. Don't stay in your comfort zone. That's the fun part about Halloween is that you don't have to dress like yourself, therefore you have an excuse and you're automatically licensed to be anyone you want to be. Do get fake eyelashes, and I don't know why, but they make a huge difference. And it gives you an excuse to wear fake eyelashes. Personally, I love them. They're a pain to put on and to assemble, but once they're on, you look great. Your eyes get 10 times bigger, I swear. So just give it a try, even if you've never tried it before for dance or you know, shows or anything. Why not? It's Halloween. Don't be stingy with costume accessories. And I know costumes and some accessories can be pretty pricey out there, but definitely try to look for the bargains and don't be stingy because you can use these accessories for years and years to come. Even the cheap ones will be handy someday. This headband, I bought it Forever 21, I think it was like a dollar. And it wasn't even for Halloween in particular, but it happened to work out very well and I will use this forever and I'll probably use this for another costume some other time. Plus, there are tons of places where you can get cheap Halloween costumes, um, accessories, and decorations. So, And we'll be going over that in just a little bit in the show. Do wear an appropriate amount of clothing. We are all classy and fabulous here at St. Mary's, and we want to make sure everyone else knows it on Halloween and every day of the year. Don't forget to take a lot of pictures. Love pictures on Halloween. And if you have some you want to share, feel free to send them into SMC TV and we can show them next in next week's episode. So take a lot of pictures, store those memories, have them for life. My last one is do be as dramatic as possible. Like I said before, it's kind of like the first one. Go over the top, be insane. This is your one day out of the year to just put on as much makeup and put as much hairspray in your hair as you want. Speaking of hairspray, use plenty of hairspray. It makes all the difference in the world. My hair would not be what it is today without the use of hairspray. One thing I really love to do on Halloween is play with my eye makeup. And it can vary from different looks. 
For example, with this 80s retro workout ensemble I'm sporting right now, I am rocking a blue, purple, green combination eyeshadow with these bright lips and way too much blush. I, at least I hope it looks way too much and not like what I normally do. So I'm properly representing the time period in which I am dressed as. If you're going as something darker, let's say a, the devil, a witch, um, you know, a, a dark colored animal like maybe you're a zebra or pirate, go for the smoky eye. I mean, it's classic, it's easy. You cannot go wrong with a smoky eye, and since it's Halloween, use a lot more eyeliner for a dramatic effect. One trick I saw on TV when they were doing makeup, it was on the Real Housewives of New Jersey. Guilty, I love that show and I watch it. They were doing, I saw a makeup artist doing Melissa Gorga's makeup, and she actually not only went on the inside of the lower rim, but on the top as well. So go on the inside of the top rim, and it does a good job of connecting the, your lash line with the eyeliner you're gonna be using on top. I didn't think it made that big of a difference, but it actually does. So give it a try if you want to. That's another pet peeve of mine. Make sure your eyeliner connects to your lash line so you don't have like two lines going across your top lid there. Never that good. And if you do have on fake eyelashes or don't really know how to put them on, my best advice would be to do your shadow first. So put all your shadow on. Then some eyeliner just to kind of, you know, set the base for where you want your eyelash to go. Then glue on the lashes, go back over with eyeliner just to make sure it all looks connected and clean, and then apply mascara. And apply mascara to the whole eyelash. The lashes should stay in place and they'll look natural for the most part. If they look obviously really fake, they're not going to look that natural, but for the most part, they should look really good. And those buggers are tricky, so be extra careful when gluing them on. Make sure you don't glue your eyes shut. That almost happened to me one time, and it was scary. So. Just make sure nothing bad happens. Have a friend help. That helps a lot too. If you're going for a lighter look, such as if you're going to be a princess or an angel or maybe like a light colored animal, um, you should play with your face makeups and lips. Uh, for Try a lighter eye, such as like maybe a light pastel purple or a pink eyeshadow with a colored liner. Colored liners are always really fun. I have on a bright green colored liner right now. And Lips that complement your skin tone, and we'll go over that in a little bit. Uh, lighter skin tones do well with darker pinks and reds. Medium skin tones are good with nudes and pinks. That's my feeling. Like my skin tone is a little medium, and I love having a nude lip with dark eyes. And a darker medium shade should try lips with an orange tint. And I'm really jealous. I can't pull off the orange tint very well. So, for those of you who can, definitely own it. And darker skin tones can pull off the darker shades of lips with big red or purple tints. And I'm jealous of that too. I cannot pull off a purple tint, but I think it looks so beautiful on girls who can. So play with these ideas and see which looks look best on you for this Halloween. Now, down to the fun part, actual costumes. Having trouble for ideas? Have no fear because first you need to start in your closet. It's Analyze everything you have and make sure that there's no possible way you cannot wear anything as a costume before you go to the store. It's a hidden treasure chest, I swear. Just look and you'll find something that maybe you can pair with some funky accessories you had from the past and voila, you have a costume. For example, let's say you have a black skirt and like a flowy top in white, red, or black, a bandana, and some boots. Throw it all together and you're a pirate. Make yourself an eye patch, wear one hoop earring, and you're good to go. Or do you have high-rise pants and big Coke bottle nerd glasses? Be a nerd. Go find yourself a bow tie, add that, put your hair in pigtails, boom, Insta costume, right there. So definitely check out your closet first. And if you do need to go to the store, here are some tips I'll share with you. I've been browsing for the past month. I've been so excited for Halloween, like this whole semester. So this, this is what I've found out about where you can find good Halloween costumes and accessories. If you have animal ears, or another thing you find in your closet, if you have animal ears or you find some at the store that you think are cute and you could use as a costume, look for colors in your closet, like I said before, um, such as neutrals like black, gray, or white to see if you can pair that with animal ears and then you can, you know, paint cheetah spots or zebra stripes on your face. It'll look really cute. But if you don't have anything like that in your closet, check out Joanne Fabrics or Hobby Lobby or any other store that sells fabric. Go buy some uh, fabric in that animal print and wrap it around yourself as a dress. I did that one year and it worked out pretty well. 
Uh, or you can make a skirt out of it or whatever you can fix it into. And even if you don't find the fabric idea that appealing, go buy a normal tank top or t-shirt, buy some puffy paint and paint some animal spots or stripes on that and you're good to go with a skirt, jeans, whatever you want to wear it with. Look for a la carte pieces as well before buying the $30 and up costumes. I bought all my costumes from individual pieces, such as this. This leotard came by itself. None of this came together. And this was for $14. And then I bought tights for $6. And I bought another dress for another costume for $20. Those were kind of on the pricey side, I would say, because I found them at Target. And those, But for costumes in general, they're pretty decently priced. Target also had many tutus and wigs and corsets, different accessories like jewelry, tights and bodysuits, all available for a relatively inexpensive price. I would say everything was about $20 or under. So, and they still had a good amount of adult costumes, like full length costumes there too. So check that out if you're still interested. Meyer had many of the same individual products, such as skirts and wigs and everything, and their full costumes were not badly priced either. The lowest I saw was about $20, and then everything, I know costumes can range for around $50 or $60 if you find a really good one, or go to some of those Halloween stores that set up when it's around Halloween time, like October and September. But if you go to Meyer or Walmart, those are really inexpensive. Um, they have some for starting at $15 and up. And they have a nice selection of Halloween makeup too. Walmart does have a whole wall of Halloween makeup and they have like the fake blood, the stitches, uh, you know, all that glitter that you can put on yourself if you really want to. And another piece of advice I give is check out the thrift stores. Those are really helpful. And there's one on State Road 23 right past Mulligan's if you're looking for a thrift store to go to. They always have great pieces, especially if you're shopping at the last minute. Check that out because they have great things you can just throw together and it'll be hilarious no matter what, I promise. So, Bells, I hope everyone has a safe and fun Halloween. If you have any crazy costume ideas or you just have some that are so fabulous you need to share it with the world or St. Mary's campus, Definitely feel free to send it to smctv at stmarys.edu so we can show them on the next episode. Now we're toying around with the idea of doing a smick chick or street walker segment a la Joan Rivers on Fashion Police. So make sure you don't find yourself on there. But definitely send us some pictures if you have anything good. From everyone at SMCTV, have a fabulous Halloween. We will see you next time right here on Channel 2.